All right, guys, welcome back to the Gamble Smart channel. My name is Mark, I'm a slot technician, and we are here to help educate you to become better gamblers. And the way we're gonna do that today is teaching you when is the appropriate time to raise your bet. We're gonna go over the bad, the ugly, and the good when it comes to raising your bet in today's video. So let's get started. All right, raising your bet inside of the casino. When should you do it? This is a tough one, okay? And I've seen a lot of YouTube videos lately where people are not doing it the best way possible, okay? And you gotta understand when it is appropriate to raise your bet. When is the right time to do that? And I'm gonna teach you about that today. But first, let's get the bad and the ugly out of the way, and then we'll talk about the good. So the bad is making the decision off of the wrong information. Here's a perfect example. And you may have even heard me say this. The higher the payback percentage is on the machine, the higher the payback return is on that machine. Is that a true statement? Yes, it is, but it's over the very, very long time life of that machine, 10 million spins or so, that you're gonna be able to tell what the payback percentage is of the machine. If you sit down at three machines all next to you, they could be set at different payback percentages, and you may come across saying, well, the one in the middle has the highest because I won the most. I spun it 300 times, I won the most on that one, so that clearly has the highest payback percentage. That's completely false. In fact, that one may have the lowest payback percentage of the three that were there. <laughs> it's, it's entirely possible. It's because slot machines are built on a long-term, long numbers, statistical, mathematical probability. Okay, what, what does that mean exactly? It means that it takes a long time for all of the different combinations, all the different wins and losses to play out on a slot machine. So in any individual session where you come to a casino and you play a machine for 100 spins, 200 spins, or even 1,000 spins, you're not going to be able to notice or detect what the payback percentage possibly could be on that machine. So why is this bad information for raising your bet? It's because you may decide that you need to stop playing quarters and you need to start playing dollars because of the payback percentage is so much higher on the dollar machine. I'm here to break it to you that the payback percentage may be half a percent, maybe a percent higher than quarters, but even if it was 2% or 5%, it's not going to make any difference in the short term. Certainly not enough for you to decide to raise your bet because you think there's going to be some magical return on that denomination that you switched to, okay? I see this a lot. I can see it in the psychology and how people talk where they're playing a game and they're like, it's not hitting on quarters, let me go to dollars. Well, it's not hitting on dollars, let me go to $5. And then suddenly it starts hitting. That is confirmation bias. Because it started hitting at $5, your brain is making that association. It was because you changed from quarters to dollars to $5. But that's not what happened. You just got lucky. And now what happens? You get stuck at that $5 zone and you don't want to go back. <laughs> that's the slippery slope and that's the bad when it comes to raising your bet. So resist the urge to raise your bet outside of your comfort zone, okay? Now, if you're comfortable with playing anywhere from quarters to $5, that's okay. But I don't want you to make a decision to raise your bet where you're, you're making a bet where you're sweaty palms and you know, you're wiping your forehead because it's really hot and everything and nobody's, nobody's hot around you. You're the only one that's like sweating. <laughs> that's not the right time to raise your bet, okay? Don't do it because you feel like you need to put a lot of risk on the line. Okay, makes sense? All right, let's talk about the next one. Ah, now the ugly. This is the, this is the one that kills the most people inside of the casino, okay? So I really want you guys to pay attention and listen up. And that is raising your bet because you are not winning. I see this all the time. I've done it. <laughs> Lots of us have done it. You gotta resist the urge to do that, okay? All it's gonna do is accelerate your losses and put you deeper and deeper into a problem area whenever you're gambling, okay? Think about it this way. And here's, a, here's an example of what I'm talking about. Let's say that you have been playing a quarter double diamond machine. You're just not getting any hits, right? Cherries, mixed bars, but nothing is, seems to be hitting. And so you're like, well, I'm about halfway done with my money. Let me raise my bet and maybe I'll get lucky and be able to recoup everything that I lost playing on the lower bet. That's a slippery slope and you gotta be very cognizant of that when it's occurring, okay? If you want to temporarily raise your bet, that's okay, but don't permanently do it because you're trying to chase losses, okay? And I see this on YouTube all the time, especially high limit players. They feel like they need to continuously raise their bet when they're on a losing streak so they can recover what it is that they lost. And that is, that is a surefire way to completely wreck your budget very quickly and then also put you in a mode where you feel like you need to stay at that level 
to earn back all those losses, okay? I'm telling you this happens because it's been happening to me in the past, okay? And I'm trying to teach you guys when to recognize that's happening and to don't do it. Stay at the quarters. Maybe get up and take a break, go to a different machine or something, but stay at the level that you like playing and try to slowly build back up to where you started. Don't try to accelerate it because more often than not, you're gonna accelerate down to zero instead of, you know, getting back to where you started. Now, will it happen sometimes? Yes, it will. There will be times where you do a couple max bets. You see Dave and I do this and you just end up getting lucky. But you gotta, if you're gonna do that, you gotta immediately go back down. Tell yourself five max bet spins, three max bet spins, or I'll go to $5 and do two spins, but I'm gonna go right back if it doesn't pan out. If you talk yourself into that, then that's okay. But you can't raise your bet and stay there and then raise your bet again and stay there and raise your bet again and stay there. That, that's, that's where you gotta like be aware of what's going on and to not continue down that path because that's, that's the slippery slope, right? All right, let's talk about when is the best time to raise your bet. All right, here at Gamble Smart, we are here to try to educate you the best that we possibly can based on our experience as slot technicians, as well as just the decades of playing these games so that you can get the best information and become a better gambler. Listen, you have to make the decision on whether you're gonna gamble or not, okay? But if you're gonna do it, why not educate yourself and learn about all these traps and these psychological things that are going around whenever you walk into a casino so that you can make the right decisions at the right time. That's what we're all about here. So if you like that kind of stuff, we would love a subscription and thumbs up this video if you don't mind too. All right, let's get back on to what is the right time. This is what everybody's been waiting on, right? Tell us when, when is the right time to raise my bet? <laughs> there is a time to do it, okay? There are two situations and this is what we try to lay out. If you came in, and I think the best way to explain this is with an example, okay? Let's say that you came in with your $500 budget and you were able to work it up to 800. All right, it's decision time. You could either take that 800 and leave, especially if you're a local, there's a local casino, you know you're gonna be back. Take that money and get the hell out of there, right? But if you're not and you wanna have a little fun and maybe push your risk a little bit, take that 500, which is what your starting bankroll was and hide it and lock it away. You are not allowed to spend that anymore, okay? <laughs> You are going home with what you started with. But you get to have a little bit of fun and a little bit of risk on that 300. So this is the time where you can raise your bet a little bit, play a high volatility game, play a game you normally wouldn't play, things like that. But you need to realize that once that 300 is gone, you cannot go to the ATM. You cannot break open your bank and try to take that 500 out. You're done. You've made the decision to do that, okay? That is the right time to raise your bet. It's okay to do that. What we all want is to be able to just have to hit the button at the right time on our increased bet and get that bonus round or something, okay? That's what we all want, right? But there is a good time to do it and there is a bad time to do it. And that's what we talked about in the video today. So I hope you guys learned something about when the right time and the wrong time is to raise your bet. This stuff's very important and you need to go in with a plan so that you're not throwing it all out the window when you're sitting in front of these things because it's so easy to do, right? All right, guys. As always, gamble smart, gamble safe. We sure do appreciate your time today. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your week. And if you're heading out to the casino soon, we wish you the best of luck. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.